Okay, so now I just want to um, ensure that I'm able to communicate with the server with the running the active directory. So I'll just go to um, command prompt and use a ping command. Okay. Okay, going back to my um, active directory server, is one thing I forget to mention, and that is um, ensure that you have your sites and services correctly set up. And you can do this by going to administrative tools and click on site and services so if you click on this plus button you should actually see this i know probably you could rename this default um default for site to something more intuitive so you could just i don't know trinidad so you can think maybe think of this as the cost that in trinidad okay and okay so if you double click here and you actually right click the ntds settings and properties you'll see that we have a global catalog set up here and it is important that your um, server at least has one global catalog before you exchange install arm um, exchange so you just press ok here and for the subnets maybe you should set up also a new a new subnet the net subnet i am using is 192.168.1.0 slash 24 and yeah um, allocate the subnet to this um site here which is what i'll call which i call trinidad that's okay right Okay, so now going back to our server exchange now, if you go back to the web browser, the the actual article I showed you guys earlier, the TechNet article, you actually see um, there are certain things that you need to do before you actually install Exchange. Uh, well, you will choose the appropriate one for whichever operating system you are using. I am using R2, so I will click on this one. Okay, so the first thing they told us is that we need to install the Microsoft Filter Pack, which I will do in a moment. Next thing is we actually need to go on a Windows PowerShell and we need to run this command. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select highlight it, copy, and then go on my PowerShell which is this here. I'm going to right click which piece is it, automatically pieces it for me and press enter. I'm going back to the browser again. Um, it tells you that depending on what rules you want to install in exchange you will use which commands here which are these commands here so if you want to install the typical which is client access hub transport and mailbox server rules you'll just copy and paste this um all this code here or if you just want to install client access hub transport mailbox unify messenger and you can click on this one but i'll just install the um client access hub transport and mailbox rules so just select it right click copy and then right click to paste so just press enter. When it has finished install, it will actually restart the um, server again. So, okay, um, the server is actually restarting right now. So, um, what I'm going to do is now is I'm going to download the Microsoft Office 2010 filter packs, which you can just click on, and it'll take you exit to the download link. And well, you need to download 64-bit version. And save, from view downloads. Um, we're going to open the folder location and let's just drag it to the desktop. Oh, I already have a copy of this, um, so I don't need to drag it. So, but what you guys will want to do is probably drag it to the desktop for um, ease of access. So now, um, Windows is still configuring features. Okay, so back on our um, extreme server, we can just switch user and log into our domain. Log in as someone with privileges. So again, what you want to do is you want to share your desktop with this um, server here. So you just click on Add, Navigate to your desktop, press OK, Read Only, OK. OK, and you go on Windows Explorer, Network, and you go turn this on. Just hit Refresh and if it doesn't show up, and then click on VBox Server and look for the um, the filter pack that we just downloaded okay it's right there so just we can just copy this and i'll just run it click on next i accept the terms in the license agreement next okay install has been finished okay so i guess now we are ready to install exchange silver 2010 so again we go back to the folder where we actually extracted those files and then we look up for the um, setup.exe, which is this file. This one is setup.com, which is um, basically to work with any command line. So we will just double click on this one. 
And of course, this lists the all these steps that we have done already. All these steps that are not highlighted. The language option. We are just going to choose the languages from the DVD. And then finally, we can click on install Microsoft Exchange. Okay, so we just click on next. I accept the ISIN agreement. Error reporting. Um, it's up to you if you want to enable error reporting. Microsoft say that it improves the quality, the reliability, and the performance of Microsoft software and services. I just click on no for now. Um, if you want to install typical, which is Hub Transport and Access Mailbox and the Exchange Management tools, or you actually want to um, choose which um, rows you want to install, I'm just going to choose typical and click on next. You set up access you to um, set a name for the organization. So I'll just put what's that? Click on next. Do you have any compliant computers running Outlook 2003? No, I don't have any. Well, you can just leave this blank for now. We don't actually need to configure this for now. No, I do not want to join the customer experience program. Next. So as, as you can see here, um, Silver 2010 is actually checking to see make, to make sure I've done everything, the, all the prerequisites. If I haven't done anything, they should have shot with a big red X. And I'm going to pause this video until it has um, finished checking up everything. Alright, so um, the Silver Exchange has checked everything for us and everything is okay, so we just proceed to install. And I guess if they click on install, you probably could want to take a sleep, have some tea, and then take a dump because this takes a little a bit of time. So again, I'm going to pause this video until um, everything has completed installing. Alright, so um, Exchange 2009 has been successfully finished install and uh, I clicked on finish. And this shows up the uh, Exchange Management Console where they show you um, the, finalized de the finalized deployment tasks, the end-to-end -end scenario tasks and stuff you should do after you um, finish installing Exchange 2010. And as you can see here, they also suggest that you should get critical updates for Microsoft Exchange. I'm just going to step, skip step 5, so I'll just restart this machine. Yes, I will exit. Okay, and I'm just going to restart this. Okay, so I've restarted the computer. And in order to access the Exchange Management Console, you just go and start and click on this. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the... um. Exchange Management Console. If you click on this, and you'll see stuff like organization control, mailbox, stuff like that. Mailbox. Mailbox. And I see there's a mailbox for ad the administrator account. Which I guess is the only, the only account in um, this domain here. Um, now, if you actually go to the Silver Manager across here, you'll actually see that there's a new organizational unit that was created. From Exchange, and uh, as you can see, here it is here Microsoft Exchange Security Groups. Okay, so if you actually go back to the Exchange Management Console and show the um, event viewer, and as you can see, here there are four errors in the last hour, and in the last 24 hours, there are 30, and well, seven days, there are 32. But what happened is, if you actually wait for a little while, these are these, this, um counter here the last hour counter it will actually disappear it will go down to zero after a while and i'll show it to you guys just now so i'll just pause this video until um these errors just disappear all right so i'm back and as you can see all the errors has um disappeared and well basically this is it thank you everyone for watching i do hope you guys enjoyed it and until next time see you guys later